Hello, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can do green screen effects with RMAC. Uh, for doing this I invite Jessica Alba and told you not to move while I'm standing with this gun in front of my camera, in front of my iPhone, but of course I'm kidding. Um, um, anyway, so we do green screen effects by of course first creating a new preset. I will first specify the background image. This is uh, which is a scene where the the camera picture is green. How can I specify a a a, a custom image? Well, Amrik has the option of photo masks, so you can use photos of any kind as masks or picture sources. But I don't want to use a photo as mask, but I want to use the photo as a picture source by itself. So I use this filter, mask only. This filter lets me um, use masks um, I created as sources, as, as picture sources. <clears throat> so I'll use that. I will specify the mask which I want to see as picture. So I will uh, add a photo mask. And click here to specify the photo. I will take a photo from the library. I will use this photo. There are two options, aspect fill and aspect fit. By the way, if you can't see those options, it might be because uh, you don't have uh, the RMAC version 1.1 because today we have the January the 12th and this version is currently not out. So don't don't write me, send me emails if you don't have this option. You will get uh, them soon in the next version, which will be available in about a week in the App Store as a free update, of course. So Aspect Fill will size the image so that there are no black boundaries visible somewhere. If, of course, this is only important if the image has a different aspect ratio than, than the, the camera picture, which is uh, 4 uh, by 3. So it will uh, enlarge, actually, it will uh, enlarge the image compared to the case where you would see black uh, borders somewhere. The picture which I've chosen here is a quadratic image. So if I uh, instead uh, choose the option Aspect Fit, you will see the entire image. It isn't corrupt like at Aspect Fill, but you will get black um, bars. Depending on the situation, you choose, of course, what you need. If you choose Aspect Fit, you have two options for the, 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 the background, which is somehow um, created here. You can say it's black. But you also can say I want to to clamp the 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 last uh, row or column, of course, depending on the on the on the on the aspect ratio of the image. So if I choose clamp, you will see that the sky is extended right here because the upper the the top line is just repeated and repeated and repeated over and over again, and the same is happening here. <clears throat> of course, if you ha would have black bars and left and right because the, the the image is very thin you would of course see the effect on the left and right side that uh, the, the leftest and rightest row, uh, column is repeated over and over again <clears throat> it's uh, already nice to have this um, option in this photo but it is mainly intended for using with masks so you just imagine you have a uh, a, a black and white uh, mask for example you have a, a white um, symbol here and the background is black you want to see the whole logo to so you uh, specify aspect fit but you want um, that the mask uh, the background property of the mask also extends to to the areas where the mask wouldn't be with aspect fit so the clamp uh, the option will always guarantee that the, the boundary condition of the mask will will extend. Okay, so let's choose aspect fill in this case. 
So I specified um, the, 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 the photo mask. We can again um, check the, the layers here. So you see there's just a one photo layer. Of course, I could uh, add even more mask or filters. I could, for example, if I want to transform it, I could ask uh, add a um, transform filter. And, uh, and of course, uh, doing stuff like this. But I don't want to, so I will remove the transform effect from this mask. So let's go back to my um, chain. <clears throat> and uh, you see the mask only filter right now with uh, this image um, specified. So if I go back and take a look what the preset is currently looking like, you see, of course, just the image. If I go back, you will see Jessica Alba in any Warhol style or something which doesn't really make sense here. Um, but if I choose this preset, you also see in the icon, uh, you will just see this image. Why? Because the camera picture is not not used in any way. You also see uh, that the mask only a filter has no inputs because it has the chosen mask, so there is no background, and it does nothing with the with the image uh, which could, would be before it. So there is also no source to be specified. <clears throat> but of course, we want to use this mask uh, as background for the green screen effect. So let's add the green screen effect, this chroma key effect. The chroma key has, of course, a source and a background input. The source should be the camera picture. So we have to specify a minus two here because two minus two is zero is the, the camera uh, picture. Or what, uh, of course, if you're editing a photo, this would be the photo as input. And the background should be the minus one, the mask only effect. So we have already done everything we need for the green screen effect. So let's tweak the chroma key parameters and let's see what actually what kind of parameters does the, the chroma key actually have uh, this filter so if i press it you instantly see oh oh we have already got a a nice a green screen effect i think it's very good quality already and it does match already very well because i have decided to let the chroma key effect by default uh, be set to um, a standard green screen effect. Of course, you can do a, a blue screen, red screen, you can key at every color you like. So let's let me explain the parameters. I will um, reset the, f the this uh, filter to its uh, very to values where it does just nothing. So let's do all these values to zero. And of course, now you can don't see any effect at all. So I will explain those values from top to bottom. You have in the same way as in the in the um, color splash filter, you see here all possible rainbow colors. So you, you see here how which how colors are affected, even colors which are not in the picture. You can just predict. With the have, have of this um, view, how how things behave here. So let's uh, let me explain the parameters. You have the, the threshold color. This parameter tells you how mu much the color may differ from the hue you have specified here. So if I change the hue. You see here that I, I just um, going through all possible colors and this parameter says how much the hue of the, the individual pixel may be different uh, from the from the ideal color I specify here. The smoothing color parameter um, is similar, similar to this threshold color parameter but it extends uh, this uh, range like like the threshold color value, but in a smoothing manner. So if I I increase this uh, value, you see that uh, you've got something like a a, a smooth transition between uh, transparent and not transparent. 
Then we have the threshold saturation parameter. This specifies how saturated the color has to be. If I uh, take this value up, you see that colors which are not not so not so uh, saturated, which are more grayish, will not be made transparent. So if I've got a, a high quality green screen, I can just set to higher values because I know my my green screen will be very saturated. But if I have problematic or not so saturated uh, colors to be keyed, uh, I will set this well lower. And like here, I have also a smoothing parameter. So you you want will want don't want to have a sharp. Um, edges here because this will can result in some ugly no noise and in hard edges but you want th smooth transitions and last uh, but not least uh, we have the 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 uh, despill parameter this will similar to the color splash effect this will desaturate colors which are near to the to the, the ideal color and the larger, larger the distance of the color from the ideal color is, the more it will be desaturated. Uh, the less, of course. Uh, to remove a spill, to, to, for example, I choose a green screen and I want some other colors which are similar to green to just to be gray. So if I, I decrease this parameter, you see that all the colors which are in this uh, area are getting uh, grayish and lose its saturation. So let's... Um, key Jessica Alba. So let's um, uh, go uh, here. I, I think I have to, to decrease the, the satur saturation. I want to, to do have this as small as possible. Let's find the optimal point here. So this looks already nice. Um, you see, if I, 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 I will put this value too high, the, 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 the green areas will get visible. If I set it very low, you see that even the gun uh, gets, gets uh, transparent. So I will set it to a way where just nothing is transparent, what should not be transparent, and then use the smoothing saturation parameter to to smooth, uh, to smooth, to smooth uh, stuff like the hairs out to make it more, uh, more smooth. And finally, I will remove the greenish spill with the despill parameter. I will decrease this value until I'm happy uh, with the colors here. You see, it's gray. It's not greenish anymore, and I'm actually very satisfied with this result. So. Let's leave this effect. Of course, you see also in the chain view the the values here, uh, which are transparent. <clears throat> so, and now we have done our green screen effect. Of course, I can zoom here. Of course, only the 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 uh, the image of hair will zoom because uh, the zoom parameter stuff will just be applied to the source, to the, the camera or picture source, but not to add uh, effects. And because the background is part of the effect, uh, it will not move here. Thank you.